you invoked the name Herb Sendek. Okay. When talking about Dave Thorne. I did. Why, why do you got to go and do that, man? Why you got to be picking scabs, man? <sighs> because it's 10 years. Yeah. It was year 10 for Herb. It's year 10 for Dave. Yeah. And I was all, I've, I've, I've kind of made. Has Dave ever said coconut hoagie or chopping wood? No, no. Okay. We don't know what his GPA was at Drake either. Okay, so I think it. he was pre-med for a hot minute. Um, I think this was his big swing at it. I think this this team, mm-hmm. this opportunity for Dave Doran was was his big chance. And 06 was Herb Sendek's big chance. You know, Carolina had just won the national championship. It was supposed to be a rebuilding year. Yeah. They were supposed to be down. <laughs> they ended up making the tournament instead. <laughs> they won the ACC. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Um, so I think there's similarities there. There is some there are some similarities in there personalities mm. i do think there's some similarities in their track record and what they've been able to do at nc state mm-hmm. and i also think there will there could potentially be some similarities the fan base ended up turning on herb in 06 because of some late losses to carolina and wake yeah the way that this year's gone for nc state now that devin leary's hurt and even before devin leary's hurt you know the the, the, the pin came out of the out of the balloon there if you will with the clemson loss yeah and I think there was a decent chunk of the fan base that was like, all right, well, what's left? Then Devin gets hurt the next week. And then you go into a situation now where they play Carolina and Wake in November in this final month. And if those things go sideways, I can see a good chunk of the fan base starting to question, well, what is the ceiling under Dave Dorn good enough? And is, you know, is being good good enough rather than having those moments in those pockets where you cash in on those opportunities both men failed at cashing in on their opportunities when there herb had more opportunities no doubt yeah uh, but also herb ended up going to arizona state while we focused in our conversations about the potential for dave Dorn to leave for a big 10 job there is another job open mm-hmm. and how about this for a thought process if you've legitimately banged your head up against a wall with Clemson in your division, sure, for all these years, sure, and, and and honestly, other than last year, Clemson was your problem, and you were offered a job at a pack, I think it'll be a ten school by the time you get there, yeah, whatever it is, with no Clemson, mm-hmm. no Alabama, no Ohio State, and in an expanded playoff where you still have access, yeah, under the new rules to the playoff. Mm-hmm. As the pack, as your conference champion, that's an appealing, it's appealing job, especially for someone in Dave's position where whatever you think of him, he still had an obstacle. And if that was your job for 10 years and then yeah. you were offered an alternative alternative where it was like, hey, there's no monster in the Pac-10. You, you're scared of Oregon? No. You're, you're scared you're, of Washington? You're not scared of, you're not scared of Oregon or Washington, even though right? Oregon does have Nike money behind it. And you got to compete yeah, against but, that. Here's, Utah's your biggest threat. Here Utah is, right now is the best program in that league. Here's the biggest problem with the analogy. Okay. It's the sport. It's a parallel, but yeah. Go ahead. Or the parallel. You and your English language. <laughs> well, well, actually. Yeah. It's fine. I'm used to it by <laughs> <Sorry>. now. So <laughs> My bad. I was not a writer. So here's the problem with the parallel. Okay. It's the sports. NC State's fan base got untenable for Herb Sendek for a variety of reasons. Sure. And while Herb could have stayed at NC State if he wanted to, he realized, man, why do I want to put up with this crap? Do I want to deal with what happened at the ACC tournament in Greensboro after I lost to Wake Forest all the time? Like, this fan base is done with me. And I could come back and I can cash out and I kind of power through, but why? Why should I? You mm-hmm. like to call Herb Sendek one of the smartest men you've ever met. Yeah, absolutely. So he's smart enough to know, man, I ain't going to deal with this, so I'm out. All right. The reason why the fan base was so lashing out at Herb was because NC State had actual damn history with basketball. Right. And people were still upset as to what happened with Jim Valvano when he took the job in 1997. And that never went away. Football, on the other hand, what is NC State's overall history with football? They're a 500 team. Yeah, man. They haven't won a they haven't won a division or an ACC conference title since 1979. They've got some fond memories. Well, they've never won the division. So. Oh, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So 
my point here is when it comes to NC State football, there's been some pockets of fun. They've got some memorable characters, but it's never been consistent. There is no basis for success. There's nothing you're comparing it to. And this is what gets into a deeper conversation with NC State football and how fans are viewing the Dave Doran conversation differently from the Herb Sennett conversation. Because there are some NC State fans out there that look at what Dave Doran's done and go, man, you know what? All things considered, it's pretty good. You know? Develops players, clean program, mess around with the top 25, they got your windows. He hasn't cashed the windows in yet, but who's to say that over over time he doesn't cash those windows in? There's not a there's not a like a true family born raised basketball's been beating your head type thing with football. Right. The best thing you can be as an NC State football coach in the grand scheme of things, the best thing you can do is to give NC State fans the one thing that Carolina doesn't have. So if you can just beat Carolina and football consistently and do better than them in the ACC consistently, then chances are you're going to live a pretty good life with NC State football as long as you want to do it. But of course, we know better than that. Carolina has its own ways to be a, a cog, you know, be, be, sure. a, be a fly in the ointment for Wolfpack football. But I would also tell you that it's not just Carolina now. It's mm-hmm. Wake. It's Wake. And Wake did win the division last year. Yep. And there are a lot of people who look who will look at it the same. You make a great point. But there are a lot of fans who look at it the same way. While it's in basketball, it's like, well, why can't you be as good as Duke and Carolina? And in football now, it becomes, why can't you be as good as Wake? Yeah. Like, what on earth is holding you back? No, no, look, that's a valid point. That is a valid point. I'm just saying that the conversation around football is a lot more nuanced and layered yes, than it agree. ever was with Herb Sendek in basketball. Agree. 